Statistics say that a wedding is the seventh most stressful event in life, a prison sentence being the fifth. <laughs> but I'm sure the COVID situation has uh, increased the levels of stress. And that is why we are especially proud of Kelly and Dan for all their reorganization and planning that they've done in such a mature and level-headed manner. We all know that Callie has a ten tendency to be a perfectionist, which worked out well when she came to choosing her husband. <laughs> I first met Callie at work and Tim paired us together on an OAA competition against the Year 11 students. Callie took it upon herself to do all the short runs and left me to do all the long runs. Somehow it was Callie that went back to the staff room and then needed three sugars in a tea afterwards, which still makes me laugh today. However, weirdly, it was from that moment that I knew I had a friend for life. Little did I know that that person was not only my best friend, but also my wife. Moving on to our son-in-law, Dan. Uh, Julia would like me to mention that the first time we heard about him was Kelly telling us about a colleague that would call around in the morning bearing a hot cup of coffee and a lift into school. Although Kelly advised it was just friendship, Julia pointed out that she thought it was more than that. It didn't take long for us to see how much Dan and Kelly cared for each other and the fun and happiness that they share together. Today is just particularly special for me as not only do I have the honour of walking my beautiful daughter down the aisle, but also driving her to church, just the two of us, albeit a bit of a squeeze due to a combination of a grand wedding gown and the cabin space the size of a mini. <laughs> Daniel, will you take Callie to be your wife? I will. Callie, will you take Daniel to be your husband? I will. I therefore proclaim, you need to get ready for applause, <laughs> that they are husband and wife. <laughs> People often say that if they could just get six numbers in the bonus ball on a Saturday night, me included, they would have made it and hit, hit the jackpot. But the real jackpot win is when you find the perfect partner to share the events of your lifetime. And I know Callie and Dan have hit the jackpot in life's lottery and they will love and support each other for life. We wish you and Callie nothing but happiness in your, in your life as Mr and Mrs. Um, you are both amazing friends and myself and Lee are privileged to be stood by your sides as you embark on your new journey as Mr and Mrs Alton. Dan and I were joking about what else we could have spent the money on if we hadn't have got married. A new car, holiday maybe, but when I asked Dan what he would have done, he said, I'd marry you every time. You really are my best friend and partner in crime. I know that as long as I have you, I have everything I need, so thank you for everything. I'm very honoured to call you my husband. There's not a day that goes by that Callie's infectious smile doesn't bring a smile to my face. You're the most caring and loving person I think I've ever met, and waiting another year to marry you is so worth it. You push me to be the best version of myself and make me strive to better myself every day. So for one final time, can we please raise our glasses to the bride. To the bride. To the bride.